what is up you guys and of course welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your troll course the Skyrinder. And yes, today we're facing of course the Green Scrafty or Rudy or the Chattanooga Chestnuts in of course our VPL week 3 battle now. And as you guys can see the design here is a bit different for my um, video. I actually got a better recorder, sadly it leaves black borders but hey, it is what it is. Now anyway, if you see my team analysis you pretty much know that this is probably the team I expected. The only thing I didn't necessarily expect here was Hoopa. But outside of that, I was pretty thinking rather right. And also, of course, Hiriyama. Kinda didn't feel Hiri Hiriyama fits the bar. Was whether or not he felt to use it. Now, here's the thing. I don't know how to beat this thing, team. I really, really don't. Talonflame just rips me apart. And I'm going to do the best I can to survive it. And uh, the only thing I can do by doing so is by get up rocks in some fashion and hope that uh, I don't lure him for a free sword stance. Because this team is swept by sword stance, brave bird, talent flame. And it's that easy. And it's I, I really couldn't design around it all too much, actually. And uh, I felt that there was really nothing I could do outside of trying to force the matchup to never occur in the first place. And let's just say that is, uh, well, easily, more easily said than done. So, really, with all that said, we're just gonna go into the battle. I'm gonna leave with Hydreigon, hope to gain some mentor through that, hope to leave with Talonflame, and we'll see what that takes me. Oh yeah, and also, Trevenant for this game is gonna be very, very important, because that that's the only mod that physically shakes Blastoise, and uh, makes sure he can Rapid Spin. Now, I am extremely lucky here that actually Rudy decided to lead off with Blastoise. Now, I don't want to risk a possible Ice Beam, but at the same time, Trevenant or Aldaris can take that really well. Or, not well, but it's around the 30% area since it's not boosted by, of course, the... Yeah, that, that Pulse ability, I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, it's not boosted, but he actually going to show me Dragon Pulse, and that's good. That's good. He would not optimize for Dragon Pulse if it wasn't that I actually took that over Ice Beam. So that means Aldaris can hopefully come in on that matchup. Having that said, here comes, of course, Heatran. Now, here's the thing. If he's a defensive Heatran, uh, I can outspeed him. And, of course, um, the thing is here that we're going to see Leftovers, which ensures me that at least it's not Shookaberry. And I can actually take a Lava Plume from this range or even a Fire Blast due to my Assault Vest. Well, he'll go for Stealth Frogs, and I was like, alright, sweet, that means Heatran's out of the way, and Trevenant gets his first kill, and yeah, you know, that's super cool, I actually didn't expect Trevenant to do, well, kill anything outside of walling Blastoise in some fashion, but anyway, here comes the Fetus, which of course, I probably, I said Fetus, Fetus, I, I don't know, Fathers must be at this point, anyway, Talonflame, I was like, I need to get out, 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 he must go for Braybird, he must go for Braybird, that's the only way he can actually defeat it. That's the only way. So I'm gonna go to the energy as he go for bulk up. And all the swing was, oh, thank God. It's not sword stance. It's not sword stance. That's great. So all I'm gonna do now is trying to lure the steel wing. Because the thing is, if it doesn't have an, the steel wing, then the energy wins this matchup no matter what. As he shows me, of course, the steel wing. Misses the attack. Would have done a whole lot of damage relief. But I can easily take a Braver from this range. As he decides to switch out, go to Luna, which of course is the monstrous Chrysalia, which is immune to the, of course, the burns from a skull. And that, my gentlemen, are a very, very, very special defensive Chrysalia. And um, I'm not going to say, any, of course, do this matchup no more than I need to. So all I'm going to do is try to Will O Wisp it. Because if I Will O Wisp it, then hopefully Hex do some more damage. Plus, I really, really need residual damage. Because without residual damage, Trevenant is unable to 2 it KO this Pokemon. It needs to be burned since we've seen the leftovers. So, having that said, this is actually kind of sweet, but due to the special defense drop, I'm going to leave. And I basically was hoping that it didn't have Shadow Ball, but you know what? I, I, what, what can I say, right? That's directly the right call to make. So, anyway, not the best matchup here because I definitely didn't expect him to bring, of course. Uh, Hydreigon, so I'm gonna, or I mean Hiriyama, so I'm gonna bring Hydreigon and uh, the thing I'm only gonna do here is actually go for a substitute, trying to, or rather, hope for him to go for, of course, knockoff scene that it would be very, very easy for me to switch out 
into my psyche type of this battle as it goes for response. I was like, oh, okay. This is this is definitely not gonna work, not gonna work at all really. And all I really can do now is that due to him not showing knockup at least yet, he's either not predicting or he doesn't need to predict. Uh, or doesn't carry knockoff, you know, that that's an option. So all I'm gonna do here is actually go to Jellicent, seeing that it's very likely that he'll go for another uh, Ice Punch. He has to go for Ice Punch, right? So I have Cold Barberry, so I can at least recover and get myself up somewhat and just scout, because I really want to know, do you have a knockoff? As he switch out, and I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, buddy, sure. As he goes to Hades, and, oh, that, and this is like, ah, shit. Here's the thing. I, I, I was back on him being Trick Room, so I'm just gonna go for Hex. So I do have speed, which kinda enforces that, yeah, it probably is a slow variant as he goes to Trick Room. So I was like, oh no. Uh, you know, but recover, recover. I can take a Shadow Ball, right? No, I cannot. I was really hoping for a Dark Pulse or Hyper Dimension ish attack and pop my Coldberry. But no, Shadow Ball is a 1 KO. I have no chance of living that. As I'll go to Fork Bid. Which, of course, is the monstrous beast of tomorrow, and I'm just gonna get my stealth rocks up pretty much here. Since I'm special defensive plus one, I actually know I can take any hit from him as he goes to Focus Blast. Do land it, but is it the second week when he gets somebody get a Focus Blast on Palace One? And he's like, nah, -uh, man, nah, -uh, not me. As a Euro Tally would, of course, an earthquake knocking out Hades. So back to the Greek or Dark Dimension. I, I have no idea what I'm saying. Uh, but anyway, he's gonna go to your Mama. And uh, I really, really, really can't switch out. All I had in this motion was rather that hopefully he shows me that I had bullet punch, which he does. And this means one thing. Dianchi can deal with this. Dianchi, if I don't make evolve, can take um, a bullet punch from, of course, Hariyama from this range. That's that's a good thing. I really need Moonblast to land on this guy. As he doesn't go for, of course... Uh, Bullet Punch, which makes this hit a lot, lot weaker than with Mega Ball as a go for freaking Heavy Slam. Like, that is, I can't really stress enough, that is overkill. Overkill. <laughs> so the DNC will fall and not Mega Evolving, sadly. But I got the damage I needed because now Aldaris is able to actually KO Hiriyama and I can get a lot of HP back. And we haven't really seen Knockoff as of yet, and it would be no reason for him actually switching out previously. He might have carried it, but the thing is, I don't care. Aldaris is all this issue. I'm gonna knock off the Hiroyama, uh, which is second kill for Trevenant, so how about that? As he goes, of course, to the Mega Blast, so it's not like, you know, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna be a fast attacking hit and go for Dark Pulse. He is not speed invested, which means I have speed do a 50% hit on him. But not only that, he doesn't carry Dark Pulse. He doesn't carry Dark Pulse, and that is such a huge thing to know. Because that means that Trevenant eats this Blastoise for breakfast, as he of course realized this, and gonna go back to, or go into Cresselia. But here's the thing, there is no situation where Cresselia will win this matchup. And the reason I say this is because Shadow Claw is a 45% hit, you know, mid-max, plus of course the burn. We are actually touching of course, upon that 50% hit area. Which means that I actually win against the Cresselia if it is a defensive set. Which it is, because we do outspeed it and Trevenant is just going to do a massive amount of damage. As of course he's going to go for Moonlight, scouting the damage. Here's the thing though, he could Moonlight on me and probably survive it. But since Moonlight only have 8 PP and I have 16 on of course Shadow Claw, I will eventually be able to break asunder this mon. But as you guys can see, we are reaching of course those 50% and... Um, you know, I could have worn Leech here, but really, I was really, really, really just trying to get the damage out there. And here's the thing, Shadow Claw actually does, well, respectable amount, amount of damage at least. You know, it's definitely up there, we'll cause around 50. But uh, Assault Vest Driven and just simply breaking through here really, really easily due to Horn Leech, of course, recovering him. Natural Gore making sure that I can get status and be an actually wheel down by it. And of course, you know, extremely vastly good moveset, which simply can take on any matchup. But here's the thing, he still has Talonflame, he still has Talonflame. But he has no way of getting rid of rocks as long as Trevin is on the field, because Blasto can't spin. As he goes for a bulk up here, and that's so good, that is so good. Probably predicting 
me to switch out or anything like that. But no, we're not gonna have it. As they actually have the Jubilee Shovel Barrel, which of course ensure that the Rock Slide or Rock Moves will do less. But the thing is here, even with that in mind, uh, I basically do around 70% with that berry, so he had no chance of surviving that, and he actually told me afterwards that he actually had a decided move and the game decided that for him. As of course the last matchup is against the Blastoise. So Trevenant actually get 5 kills in this battle, which of course is insane consider the amount of shit that I've actually been saying about Trevenant being a very very inferior mod just in general. But in this matchup, it actually worked, and uh, of course, Talonflame not attacking him is, well, let's just say as it is, a huge perk. But yeah, I feel that, you know, I've sounded a lot cocky throughout this game, and I do realize that. Um, let's just say it as it is. Rudy should have defeated me. I went into this battle knowing I would lose, knowing there was no way, you know, I built so much for trying to just outwit him and trying to be the smarter player, but somehow actually became the more offensive one than the one that actually decided the matchups and enforced them. So, um, I think I have to at least, you know, give Rudy the credit where it's due, and that is definitely, he decided to go for an acrobatic set with, of course, bulk up instead to uh, ensure to survive a rock slide, and of course being able to get acrobatic, which of course is much much stronger than the Brave Bird, not Mushroom, but it's definitely stronger. And um, by that logic, he would have been able to switch with acrobatics, and I think that's the right call to make. I think that that design on the Thailand Flame could have worked in my or in his favor, because at plus one acrobatics, it's it pretty much kills my whole team, like I really can't deny that. But uh, I think you optimize the stamina over power, because of course a Brave Bird was very very spammable, but he probably was feeling that he didn't want to lose Talonflame too early, but the thing is, Talonflame survived so long into the game, or so late into the game, that from this point on, uh, Brave Bird would have made it all the difference. Now I had Koba Berry on, of course, my Scallopy, which of course never got out, but uh, I will say this, it would not have been able to take an Acrobatics. Uh, it would have been able to take a Braver for Stealth Rocks, no problem, but an Acrobatics, nah, -uh, no way. So, um, it would have come down to whether or not Hate Reagan could have taken that Acrobatic at plus one, which I feel is unlikely, even though it was somewhat bulky, but it still would have done a lot of damage. But here's the thing, had it been Sword Stance and Braver, Rudy would have won this game. I am no doubt in my mind that that is how the game would have been developing too. Now, having that said, I am glad I come out on top, but I really can't deny that, you know, on a, if Rudy had had a better day, he would have won this game. And I'm really glad about Trevenant. It only worked because he decided to go defensively with the matchups here. And I think that's the right call to make. And I think that's the reason I went being so an offensive Trevenant was because I knew defensive response would end me, so if I had at least somebody with the right stabs to deal with those, then I should be able to turn this game around, and obviously I did, because the other got nothing on Trevenant, which was actually quite amusing. But uh, yeah, you know, that's obviously lucky. Uh, with that said, guys, I want to thank you so much, of course, for watching, and um, yeah, don't see this victory as uh, that I had the game under control. It really wasn't like that. While it is, Trevenant is impressive in this battle, but I also know that Rudy could have very, very easily just turned this game around and destroyed me. I really, I won't deny that fact. So I was just lucky coming out on top. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in next week's VPL battle against the Free Damian. Until then, take care. Bye.